Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I want to share with you one of my favorite LEGO sets that I own, and it is the Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series R2-D2. It has 2,127 pieces and has a retail price of $179.95 in the United States. This is one of those sets that I never thought I would end up buying when I first started to get into Lego. I was really just settling for some of the smaller models and the big expensive ones. I thought, well, I probably would never do that because of the price. But as I got more and more into it, my craving for larger scale Lego products started to increase. And when I finally purchased R2-D2, I can honestly say I have never looked back, never regretted it. It is just that good and building it is so satisfying. This was easily the most challenging set I ever built and I actually messed up about a quarter of the way in making the body and I had to break everything down and start over again. It was very discouraging but after letting my mind clear for a bit and just taking a few deep breaths and going back later I was able to complete the build in a few days and the end result is nothing short of extraordinary. Everything about R2-D2 is meticulously detailed, and that's great considering that most of the pieces that make him up are actually quite small. And when you're all done, he stands about 12 inches tall and about 7 inches wide. And the entire box itself weighs a little over 5 pounds, so you're getting a ton of Lego that when put together with the care and craftsmanship that Lego's master builders put into designing this set, you're getting something that anyone would just be in awe of when they walk by and you tell them that that is actually over 2,000 small pieces put together. One of R2-D2's features includes a detachable head that can rotate 360 degrees and the pieces of the head are actually really small but when they're stacked up around each other it makes for a really really cool effect. R2 also has a third leg that can be brought down by pressing down on a switch that's located on the back of him. And when you do that, you can take his front legs and push them back so that it will look like he's leaning as he rolls. And the bottom of R2 has these clear cylinder pieces that allow him to slide across solid surfaces relatively easily without necessarily worrying about scratching up what you're rolling over. R2 also has a couple of compartments on his front and one of those compartments contains a circular saw. Once you open up the door, you can bring the saw out by twisting a little knob that's located on R2's back and that will extend the saw and twisting it again will bring the saw back in and retract it. And inside of the other compartment is a probe and it works the exact same way as the saw. There's another switch on his back and when you turn it, the probe goes out. You turn it again, the probe goes back in. Then you can just shut the doors and no one has to know that they're even there. It's no secret that Lego is an expensive hobby. And when you put together something from the Ultimate Collector series, you will understand where that money is going to. This is something that I am going to have for as long as I possibly can. R2-D2 is something that I will not let anyone touch. It is something that I am very protective of. And if I am able, I want to buy even more of these and just create a collection of tall, solid, very impressive Lego builds. So if you have the money and the patience to put something like this together, I totally recommend it. And as far as the Star Wars line goes, you cannot go wrong with R2-D2. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.